Good afternoon. My name is Rhonda Pope, and I'm coming to you from Cleveland, Ohio. Today I'm coming to you on an appeal for support and assistance. I am uh, been battling um, breast cancer, and actually I've been in stage four for, since 2007. And according to all kind of medical statistics, uh, doctors, and reports, that's a long time to be in stage four. But look at me, I'm here today. But actually, it's not easy. Actually, it's very difficult. I have had chemo, radiation, the, uh, the cancer has gone to the um, colon and to the lung. I have had, uh, actually I'm at the bone, but well, look at me, I'm here today, but I need to, your assistance to survive. I, uh, every day I take um, 14 pills. Uh, I need to, I take the inhaler. Uh, all of these things I need just to survive. Right now, I'm just pretty much out of all of my medicine except for one, and so I take this bag of medicine every day. Uh, and uh, I don't have any health insurance. No health insurance. That's a real, uh, real serious issue for me. No health insurance. I was able to get into a program at the Clean Clinic Foundation that will take care of my medical expenses, but they will not provide my, my medicine. And that's very expensive. Hundreds of dollars a month. And so each month and each week I have to go through um, being out of one medicine or another. And at this point I'm totally out of all of it and I'm trying to get from here to there. And so in order to have a fair chance, a fighting chance, of fighting this thing, I really, the least I think is I need is my medicine. Actually, uh, I need a CPAC too. They diagnosed me with that uh, on a scale. I think I need a number 16. I don't even know what that's about, but I need a CPAC. My breathing was so bad. Uh, I guess that's bad sleep apnea because I can't breathe and short as breath. Uh, last week I had an EKG. And I'm just going to read to you because you can't see. Because I was having chest pain. I didn't know if it was written to the breath or to the chest. And the EKG said contour abnormality assisted with anterior, anterior septal infarction, which pretty much means that at some point I had a light heart attack or something. That's what it means. You can uh, read about that. I had a light heart attack un unbeknownst to me, but uh, those kind of that's the kind of things I, I go through. Uh, I am a woman that have uh, worked many years in my life. I have been a, an outstanding athlete, actually ten-time champion. Uh, a sprinter. I even tried to go back and run master's track with you last uh, last year, but actually because of my challenges I faced, right, it was too 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 hard. But I had the desire, and I certainly have the the the, the zeal to continue to fight for whatever it is that you know I have to do. I um I need a system of transportation, just back and forth to the doctor. And so you imagine that I have to call on friends and families and those agencies and support persons to to get to where I need to get to, and that gets to be kind of challenging too. So with, if you can open up your heart and help me fight this thing, certainly uh, uh, I'm going to help the next sister go through and fight this too. But like I said, uh, since 2007, uh, still by a ballon, I must have had over 40 uh, uh, doses of uh, chemo and radiation. And right now, I'm, I'm, I, the last one I took was oral chemo. And so you know your body can't take with so much. But I'm still here. I write poetry. And I want to write something really good for you, just to pour my heart out to let you know that uh, I'm just a real person with real needs. And if you can help me, uh, I just want to share this thank you with you um, and pretty much keep you updated on what's going on. I'm, I'm certainly a fighter. Every day I'm out here help me fight this case because I'm certainly an advocate, my own advocate, my own ambassador. But I need you. So if you can help me to survive, I'm uh, so much appreciative. Thank you.